for today, I wanted to cover this specific question. And the second topic that I want to cover today is bidding. Because bidding, I think it's something that you'll see questions in your exam. And how does bidding actually work and what strategies can you do for uh, your campaigns, right? Because if you look in when you're building a new campaign, you actually have three different methods of bidding um, or strategies in which you can configure your campaigns at, right? You have lowest cost, you have co cost cap, and also bid cap. Um, so you're going to have lowest cost, you're going to have um, cost cap, right? And the third is bid cap. So those are the three types of bidding strategies that you can do within the Facebook platform. When should you use which one and how do they differ? Um, because you will get questions on this topic, especially if you're doing the planning and the buying exam, you will get questions on, you know, you have, I don't know, someone who's launching a campaign and they want to make sure that they, they maximize their budget or they want to make sure that they use all of their budget or they have, you know, they have a conversion campaign to an e-commerce site and the maximum that they can acquire a purchase or a sale is for $15. Which bid strategy do you utilize? Uh, you used to be able to, there was used to be a third one, which was target cost. Uh, or target, yeah, target cost that doesn't exist anymore. Now you can use these two. Um, and so if you're using campaign budget optimization, which is what Facebook is pushing now, you basically have these two, these three different types of bidding strategies. And so how do they differ? And so I would say that we'll start with lowest cost. And so lowest cost, what it does, and we'll do one, two, and three, it's actually, uh, yeah, so this is a good image that I downloaded before the class. It explains a bit and we'll, we'll go into more detail, but basically you want to control cost. And I'm just going to erase this because this doesn't exist anymore. You don't use this anymore. But lowest cost, what, is, what it does is it'll get the most results from your budget. So it's basically going to try to find the most effective way to, to find your conversions or actions or whatever you're optimizing your campaign for, right? Uh, so they'll try to go into the auction and actually get those conversions or actions at the most efficient or lowest cost that Facebook can find. Cost cap, and basically this is number one. So you have two and three. Cost cap, um, you're actually getting the most results, but you're actually setting a benchmark of how much, what's the most that you're willing to pay for that conversion? In other words, what's the ceiling, right? That Facebook can't go above, um, not in bidding, but actually the final cost, how much is going to end up costing you to buy that campaign, that, that conversion or action And bid cap is basically how much are you willing to go into the auction and bid for that action, right? So it's, it's two different things. Uh, if we graph this and we'll graph, let's do number one here. If we graph this, let's say this is the auction and let's say that this is the cost or yeah, the cost per action. And then you're gonna have, you know, over time, what's gonna happen is you will see that you'll have different conversions coming up, potential conversions that appear within the auction, right? So think of this as space within Instagram, Facebook. When, you're, when you go into Facebook, you know, you're basically giving Facebook the space to sell, you know, your newsfeed to advertisers. And so each of those dots is basically a space in someone's newsfeed so that you're paying to show your ad within people's newsfeed. And so with lowest cost, 
what Facebook will do is think about it that Facebook is always trying to, to maximize total value. Um, and so total value is basically you're trying to maximize business results or have a balance between business results, but also be able to show people the right content. And so it's not necessarily about, you know, who's willing to pay the most, but actually who's building a better experience or giving a better experience, giving better content, uh, engaging better users. And so what Facebook will do is they'll go into the auction and say, well, you know, for this specific moment, the way your campaign is performing, and we're actually going to buy this one, and then we're going to buy this one, and then we'll buy this one, and then we'll buy this one, and then we'll buy this one, and then this one, this one. And all of a sudden, you have more competition. You have better ads from competitors. So, you know, it's you're going for higher conversions. And so if you look at your overall cost, you know, they're going to fluctuate, right? Usually it's it's more stable, but it's going to fluctuate. Facebook is basically going to try and buy the most cost of, in the most cost effective way um, those conversions. It doesn't matter whether it's low or high. It's just basically when it goes into the auction, it's buying it in the most cost effective way. And so your cost will per action will fluctuate, right? And over time you know, with ad fatigue, so people looking at CMAD or you're, you, you know, you've reached, you, you've saturated your audience, most of the time your costs usually tend to go up, right? So your costs usually in all of the campaigns will always go up, right? So your CPA or your cost per action will tend to go up. So lowest cost, Facebook will try to use most of your budget, will try to be as efficient as possible, but some sometimes it might cost you two dollars sometimes it might cost you five dollars right right There's, you're really not controlling that because you're giving facebook flexibility to use your budget as they like if we look at the second one and so let's say we say cost cap and this is number two and so you you also have your cost per action and you have time here and so if we look at cost cap, which is this one right here, and if we go to the ad set, you'll see that now within your, uh, I think it's the bottom, right? You can set your cost control. So now what this allows me to do is if I, you know, you have the same scenario, you have different potential conversions that I can do over time, you know, within the auction that I can go in by. What this will do is say, well, this is great, but I actually have a limit, right? So in this case, let's say the maximum here, you know, if of your CPA, zero dollars and the max is 10. However, you wanna tell Facebook that you're not willing to spend more than let's say $8. So this will draw a line here and this is going to be eight dollars so what facebook will do is they'll go in and say well we'll bid for this one we'll bid for this one this one this one all of a sudden you know they could potentially bid for this one but didn't so they skipped it they kept going and they did this right so your cost usually will fluctuate and eventually will stabilize and get as close as possible to yay right but it's it's never going to go above eight so over time, your campaigns or your cost will do this. And so you're limiting how much it's going to cost you to acquire those conversions. You're never going to go above $8. Why? Because it could be that if you go above $8, your return on ad spend becomes negative. So you're not making money off of getting those conversions so it's great that facebook can get them but you're actually not making money with those conversions so this is a great way when you actually know your costs when you've been running campaigns and also when you're scaling campaigns because when you're when you're starting like the lowest cost makes sense right you want to go into facebook and you want to let them optimize um, because 
there's more potential opportunities for you to acquire users or conversions. But as you scale your campaigns, what you want to do is make sure that you're actually acquiring conversions at the right cost where it's actually profitable for you. Because what you don't want to do is over time, you know, Facebook will go ahead and start acquiring these conversions. And the problem is that you're not making money with these conversions. You're actually, you lose money here, right? I'm going to loss. And over here, I'm going to profit. So here I'm profiting, but over here, I'm going to loss. I'm actually losing money because it's actually, if I add, you know, my uh, cost of goods and, and shipping, if I'm an e-commerce site, I actually lose money if it's above $8. If it's below, I'm actually profitable and I have a margin on my product. So CPA works well when you're scaling campaigns and we actually want to control what's the most that I would end up paying. So if you have questions where it says, well, you have this e-commerce site where, you know, they don't want to pay or the most that they want to pay per conversion is $8, then you want to go with cost cap. If they'll say, and you'll see some questions where it says, well, they want to maximize the budget spending and make sure that you're spending all of your budget, then you want to go with lowest cost, right? So it doesn't matter at the end of it. It's not, it's not that it doesn't matter, right? But there's no emphasis on controlling costs, but more spending your budget. Um, whereas here, you're actually controlling that budget. And then the third is bid cap. In bid cap, you're going to have CPA as well, and you're going to have time. You're going to have, you know, same thing, different potential conversions that you could potentially acquire. And so what you're doing with bid cap, unlike cost, bid cap, what you're telling Facebook is how much you're going into the auction, how much are you willing to bid for those conversions, right? So I could say $8 here as well. This doesn't mean that it's gonna cost me $8, but I'm actually going into the auction and bidding at the most $8. So what Facebook will do is it'll usually go in and, you know, again, it'll start buying stuff. And usually, you know, if you graph this, it's a little less like that, but what it'll do is it's going to end up doing this. Usually your average cost, and let's say this is $6. It's going to be lower than what you're bidding, right? Think about it in the sense of you're, you're always competing against other advertisers. And so if I tell Facebook $8, what I'm trying to do and what, what you're doing with, with the bid cap is out by or be more aggressive, right, uh, against other competitors or against other advertisers. And so if, you know, if let's say I go into the auction and I say, tell Facebook, well, I'm willing to pay $8. Someone is willing to pay seven and another one is willing to pay, you know, 750. If all things are equal, right? So the total value is equal. I should be able to win that bid or that conversion. Why? Because I'm willing to pay more. It doesn't mean that you're going to end up paying $8. You're going to end up paying 750, right? So whoever is willing to pay second, you know, the second tier or, or, or the second advertiser who's willing to pay the most, I'll end up paying this. But because I was able to bid for that conversion at a higher price, I'm able to get more conversions or be more aggressive. And so when does this work? When you actually want to be more aggressive, when you actually know your costs as well, when you know how much your margins are, you know how much you're willing to pay for those specific conversions or purchases. Um, and usually, because you know your cost, you always go and bid, your bid cap should be higher than what you're actually willing to pay. Because Facebook will go into, into the auction and usually your cost will be lower, you know, than what you're actually bidding. And so 
most of the time, and this depends on the type of product that you're doing with, but if you're in e-commerce, usually what you'll do is say, well, if I'm willing to pay $8, um, you can go, you know, at 1.5 or even 2x, right? So I bid 15, 16, you know, 13 to 16, uh, I give that bid cap and I start testing it. This requires a lot of optimization and also a lot of you being involved within the ads and optimizing your campaign consistently um, because you don't want to overshoot and start paying more than we're actually willing to pay. Um, so BitCap, what it does is it just allows you to be more aggressive. You know, if you're in, you know, during Christmas or Black Friday or when you know that it's going to be really competitive and a lot of people are spending a lot of money or you're in the market where it's very competitive and you want to be more aggressive in Windows um, conversions, then you want to go for BitCap. And so that's basically how these three bidding strategies work. You have lowest cost, you have cost cap, and you also have bid cap. I think it's a topic that it's definitely worth knowing because you will get questions on this for the buying, planning, most exams. And I think it's something that it's also just fundamental to know when you're running campaigns for Facebook. You definitely want to make sure that you understand how to manage your bidding when to use which bid, bid type as well, uh, just so that you're effective with your campaigns as well. So hopefully this helped you guys understand better, you know, how bidding works and when to use lowest cost, cost cap and bid cap. If we go back to just the ads manager, you know, this is gonna be your cost control. What I mentioned, like you're plateauing your cost, you're setting a limit. And if I actually select here, uh, it's, if I actually select here bid cap, continue and I go to the ad set now, and I go down. Now, if you look, same thing, but now it doesn't say cost control, it said bid control. And the difference is what I mentioned before. You're basically changing one, I'm telling Facebook how much is the most that I'm willing to pay. And then the second one, I'm actually telling Facebook how much I'm willing to go into the auction and bid for those conversions. So there are two different things. And also in the first one, you know, you're just letting Facebook optimize budget for you and those conversions. Um, so hopefully this helped. Let me know if there's specific topics that you want me to cover later on as well. Um, I'll be trying to cover topics that are you know, you'll get questions in most exams and also things that are related to running campaigns and just becoming better marketer. Uh, so thanks again for listening, guys. We'll see you tomorrow in our live Q&A session as well. Uh, hopefully this helped. Uh, if you have questions, make sure you comment below and I'll see you tomorrow or next week. Thanks, guys.